Hello. Oh, they they actually saying that in in the game though. Delivery for Mr. Sun. Okay, be be right there. Yeah. Please sign here. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Drop the package. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Yo, Moon. Moon is a jerk. Don't worry, sir. We'll retrieve your package. Oh, no. No worry. Gotta run. They're getting away. So, um, this is Mr. Sun's hat box. I played this during the uh, Steam Next Fest uh, demo fest. And uh, this uh, code was provided by Raw Fury. Thank you very much. Appreciate y'all, buds. Um, I've been looking forward to this game. It's, it's a really... I really liked the demo when I played it jump down to do the thing okay find the door to the exit to the current floor i'm uh i actually have a save prepared from when i played the demo but uh this is an interesting kind of game to describe it's a different definitely kind of a mixed genre we're gonna, we're gonna kill that lad kill the guard killed so this is a game of violence oh killed um I would describe this game as a very, very light immersive sim slash um, extraction game, but uh, it is, it is in fact, oops, how do I throw? How do I, oh, oh, right, yeah, okay. Uh, it's, it's a platformer, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> obviously it is a platformer, but uh, why can't I, uh, yeah, let me keep the hard hat. But uh, yeah, it's it's got some extraction gameplay. It's got some roguelite gameplay. Um, it's got a little bit of XCOM in it, kind of. Um, these are all things that uh, when I say this, you know, it's gonna potentially uh, annoy people because it's like, well, no. But like, yes, actually, though. Throw your weapon at the guard. He, it is thrown, killed. Whoops, try jumping on this new guard to stun him. Okay, they, they want me to... Um, Grab this guy, capture the guard, okay. Uh, capture. So th this is, um, you know, this isn't ex necessarily or specifically the extraction part, but um, something I do appreciate about this game and, and something that, um, you know, reads to me as kind of an almost Tarkov life like is that the resources that you acquire during your missions are things that you're going to kind of like safeguard in a way like you know if you lose something if you lose a run you're going to lose your equipment as well and you're kind of stockpiling a small horde of resources uh not just resources in the form of equipment but also resources in the form of your character i'm starting uh, as this guy uh, our delivery guy. Hello, Mr. Sun. I'm sorry to report that I wasn't able to retrieve your package by myself. Oh, that's okay. I, uh, oh, but fear not. Since you signed up for a delivery guarantee, TM, uh, insur insurance policy, we won't relent until the package is in your hands. Oh, it's, it's not a big deal. You own the land under your shop, correct? We shall set up a base of operations there as we continue our search. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, no one, extra cost, of course. Thank you for your patience. All right. So here, herein lies the uh, the XCOM part. Um, it really isn't the tactical part of XCOM so much as the base of operations building part of XCOM. So we're gonna go to the build menu. You to get started, you'll get uh, you'll need two more rooms, staff room and storage. So we're gonna build these. I'm gonna place that there, and then I'm gonna build this. I'm gonna place that there, and you know that's it. So we got our missions. From here, you can scan for missions. We'll do that, we'll scan for missions. We've got a very basic mission. Each day you'll have a choice of three missions. It says each day, but this is like each in-game day, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we've got these two basic missions and then we've got this like castle, which is uh, different. We're gonna go ahead and do a library mission. Choose a unit to take on the mission. If you fail the mission, the unit will be lost permanently. Yeah, so, so you're not only just losing the equipment, you're also losing your unit and your units can be valuable because um you know they can earn perks over time so um let's let's uh, have a quick look at these units this is this guy's got butterfingers can't keep hold, uh, hold on melee uh, melee weapons when attacking can be seen by cameras through walls that's bad um kleptomaniac steals all gold from mission loot 
Steals all gold for mission loot, wow. Uh, hampered when holding heavy things. Can't keep a hold. And these also got Butterfingers. And then we've got Clumsy Reloader. Shooting guns uh, uses up one additional ammo. Panic for a short time after snapping someone's neck. Guilty conscience. That's good. Uh, hollow bullets. Bullets have a limited range. Well, this guy seems like the least awful. Equip your unit for the mission here. Pay close attention to your unit's quirks. They can drastically affect your playstyle. Um, so we just had a look at those so we know um, that they're okay. So we've got our hard hat that we just acquired from that last mission, the tutorial mission, and we've also got the pistol. Um, I don't know if this is a guy I acquired um, in the last mission, but either way, it doesn't matter. And, you know, like, I would say, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna get into this, like, immediate mindset of like, oh no, I can't die. If I die, then all is lost. You know, I've, I've lost my really good my, my my good lad you know so this is what panic looks like um oh out of ammo oh and uh we killed a couple lads so my my dude is panicking um give me let me let me pick up an axe maybe it's a little bit hard to pick up some things sometimes i'm just gonna go ahead and throw that body over there Halo weapons what the that guy's al alive. Let's capture him. And uh, we can also capture this. You can capture weapons. You get three of these balloons per, um, per mission. And I think you can upgrade that so you can do more later. Um, we could capture the baguette. Um, kind of want to... Oh, you know what? I'd like to capture the bow and arrow. That could be fun. So that's, the, that's our three balloons already spent. Oh, we got two more balloons, so we could capture more potentially. So we've got this arrow. We can we can throw that, but uh, I'm, I'm not gonna keep that. Let's carry on to the next uh, mission or next part of the mission. Survived. Your loot. Oh, this is a very early mission, so it's only gonna be one floor. Okay. XP earned. So this is the XP that your unit earns, and hopefully they you can uh, do enough missions with them without dying. Um, so that uh, you can level them up. The med bay and brig are now available to build. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, this building, you know, stuff gets a little bit more complex later. Uh, so like you'll be, you know, re be required to build certain buildings to build other buildings. And um, also you'll need different resources. And also you're gonna need to, uh, and I guess we'll get into this right now because uh, we're gonna build a med bay. And can we have enough of the brig as well? Yeah, we do. So I believe the brig is for the yeah the, for the for the purposes of brainwashing prisoners. So we just caught, collected these two prisoners. I don't have enough gold to brainwash both of them, but that's okay. And here we can heal um, our unit. We don't have enough to heal them, but that's fine. I'm not worried. I'm not too worried about it. What I was gonna say is that like you will potentially get into this mindset of like oh I, I can't uh, lose my dudes. They're dispensable. I think that it's more of a, a way to kind of um, provide a replayable roguelite experience. And yeah, there's risk to death, and yeah, you may lose your your favorite dude and your favorite weapon, but it's really not a big deal. And you can acquire those things again. They won't, might not be the same, but. Uh, you know, it doesn't really feel like the end of the world. Complete these uh, story missions to progress the game. So let's do another little raid. Um, select, uh, so are we still selecting our dude? The same dude? Yeah, this is the same dude that, uh, cause I, I kinda wanna level him up. Let's use the bow and arrow that's gonna co come with three ammo. It is not at full health, are you sure? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. We can heal him after, uh, you know, potentially. Oh, God. So uh, the, the people coming in like that is a new thing to me. Oh, God. We've got the propeller hat. Uh, capture them. Capture this dude. That was, that was risky. Oh, yeah. So we got this, this hat here. So yeah, hats are, are really cool. Um, you can do some cool stuff with them, like you might notice. I can shoot when I uh, when I hit my head on the top of this. And actually, that's new. I don't remember that. That's really fun. 
Um, I'm, I'm surprised my dude did not panic. Maybe this is... No, this is the same dude, right? So let's go... I mean, first of all, we're going to capture... Pretty sure if I leave with this turret hat, then um, I'll be able to keep it. Like, I get to keep it. You get to keep whatever on you, right? But you want to make sure that you're grabbing, at least using up your balloons. Out of balloons, okay. What about this box? Can we pick up? Oh yeah, is this a, one of those things we can hide in? Quit. No. No, 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 never mind. <laughs> That's fine. Um, okay, well, I like I like this hat anyway, and um, we have no arrows on that, no bullets in this, no ammo in this. We really are... Oh, okay, we can, we can pick up the arrow to resupply it. So let's go pick up this arrow as well, and now we have two arrows. But we're, we're good to go. We don't really need to worry about it. So yeah, we did get the, the turret hat. The turret hat's pretty cool. It actually probably saved my butt there. We got some more money, and our dude leveled up. That's the, par the, the part that matters. So they get random perks or quirks, if you like. Um, that's, I guess, what they're called. And in this case, they got immune to normal bullet damage, gets stunned instead. So that's a pretty good quirk. Brainwashing Aid Harrell has uh, gone forward. So we're gonna we're gonna want to put our main dude shortstop Murray in the med bay. That's gonna take uh, three days for them to heal, right? Um, we're definitely gonna want to brainwash uh, the two dudes that we collected in the last. I guess we only collected one dude, but we uh, yeah, there was another dude. And now we can look. So uh, here you can see, in order to get this next expansion, um, we're gonna need a crown. This one, we're going to need a map piece. You're going to need a crown and more things and get the level, whatever. And uh, you're also like in the future, um, not yet here, but in the future, you're going to need to um, reserve units, certain units uh, to do certain things like research stuff. Um, but let's why don't we go ahead and do the story mission just to just have a look at it. Um, I don't want anyone with butterfingers. Let me look at this. Refuses to pick up dead bodies. Destroys guns after shooting once. Smells bad. Okay. Can barely hear a thing. Steals all gold for mission loot. I don't like that. That's like the worst. Med kits hurt. Remains stunned for twice as long. Can only aim directly forward. That doesn't seem awful. Let's go with Aid Harrell. And we'll give him, um, we'll give him a, a, an axe and give him a turret. This game's also co-op. I think it's a local co-op only though, so you can, you're gonna have to use remote play in order to, to make use of that. So let's try and, uh, we can kill them all as they come down, so that's not a big deal. But this axe like kills dead. So if we're, you know, you're hoping to, um, oh God, I got stunned, ouch. I wanna capture this dude. What does this rubber ducky do? I got the library hat as well. I don't remember uh, in the demo people getting ballooned in. It was more like uh, they were they were kind of um, just in the field. They were placed sporadically. But I think it, right now it's it's starting us with the alarm on. Uh, later it's a you can you can stealth a little bit. Um. And uh, not necessarily have the alarm on right away. What is it? Hold on a second. There's. You can hold. Okay, let's uh, let's look at this. I want to capture that. There's a dagger there, and I want to get rid of that body. Is there like a spider here? There's a chair. Okay. Uh, can we capture this? Yeah, we let's, may as well capture this. I don't think it's worth anything, but I think you can sell equipment later. So grabbing everything is actually a good idea. We got lots of stuff. We completed our raid. We got um, five hard hats and I think part of a, a map piece. We didn't quite level up. Okay. Hat heist. You found a map piece. Collect more to unlock a hat heist. Nice. New room. 
with research available okay so we've unlocked the research room so uh here you can you can reserve to unlock upgrades you'll need to assign staff to the research job select this unit to assign them to the job okay we'll do that assign the job assign staff sta uh, assign them to a new job optimize to quickly assign your highest level units to jobs yeah so th this is where things get a little bit interesting you want to level up dudes not just so that they're better in the field but also because um higher level research is going to require higher level uh dudes in order to to get that necessary research and necessary research really just comes in the form of more perks and stuff this is your research level it is based on the levels of the staff assigned here i guess i could just read what you know read what the game has to say and then you'll you'll get the same just bring two more balloons in each mission that's obviously a good one so we'll go ahead and throw some money at that but the other available ones are collect more magic hats to reveal this research project collect more magic hats so we'll need more magic hats to get those but this one tech tech goggles highlight items that are needed for research or contracts that's a really good one i don't believe i can do this one first of all i don't have enough money but i also don't think i have enough um people for that we're gonna we're gonna heal to, uh aid harold he, he is not not doing so great um we can assign some more people to to research uh i don't know what the maximum for research is but i'm sure we'll find out let's uh anyone who has th that really bad um kleptomaniac let's let's just like get rid of them so we can have three right now Okay, so we've got we've got three people on research, and I think that will increase the time or decrease the time it takes to research this. So it says two days left, and uh, let's scan for missions. We'll do some basic heists. Um, so these light bulbs mean that these three guys are all on research. So we only have Necro Conley. Necro Conley is okay. We can't give him a gun, um, and he smells, but that's fine. What is knowledge is power required to research something? So those are actually used for research purposes. So let's go ahead and um, our mission is to eliminate all. Oh God. That was pretty close. Ooh. Right, I forgot he doesn't like guns. That's the whole reason I gave him a, a oof. Oh no, I threw the body. <clears throat> I threw the body and it and it uh, stunned me because it got knocked back. I'd like to grab this guy as well. We still have a Beckett. Raid complete. Well, let's um let's grab everything we can. The one I, I should have kept that hard hat. I pressed the wrong button, I think. Okay, we're good. We we did, we took quite a lot of damage. But that's okay. As long as we're alive, it's all good. Rewards earned: seven daggers. Nice. And we leveled up. Can be healed past max HP. Resets after mission. That's if we can find some health kits. Health kits don't seem to be available yet. We've brainwashed um, a couple of extra dudes and we can throw some more dudes in here. Brainwash prisoner. These guys are start at level two, which is interesting. They're going to take two days. Uh, we definitely. Okay, so these guys have one day left. And so that means we can't heal our the one dude that we have. So that means we're going to have to take someone off of research. Maybe? Uh, I guess we do have two dudes left. Okay, yeah, so we just we just did get two two guys. So let's just do you know, we'll, we'll continue doing um, some some basic stuff. We could try um, Our mission here is to kidnap a specific person. I'm very bad at these because I always accidentally kill the dude in question um, Hatred of guns. This is no, we don't want to uh, take Necro Conley We want someone else. Who is this? Uh, like what do they have nearby enemies can hear your footsteps jumping on enemies doesn't uh doesn't stun them wow thrown blunt objects don't stun people that, that guy sucks can only aim directly forward faints when snapping necks uh, 
Okay, well that's okay. Pointed Herbert is actually not bad. We just have to make sure we don't snap anyone's neck. Find and kidnap Pistol Wolf. So we're gonna go ahead. We only have three balloons. Good to you know keep an eye. You know what? Honestly, let's let's snap their neck. <laughs> I know we. I know we're gonna uh, faint. Wait, okay, capture that. Oh, we almost dropped, uh, lost that money. Um, okay, we can, oof. The hard hat ensures that we don't stun ourselves. And this is the first time we haven't started basically with an alarm. We've got this here axe, could be good. I kind of like the boomerang though, because the thing is the axe is lethal like right away. want to make sure whoa okay so we got alarmed unfortunately Oops. oh no 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 um let's just snap his neck oh god i forgot i actually forgot okay there's the guy we need to kidnap so let's go ahead and kidnap them and then snap the guy's neck we faint, but that's okay. We're alive. You've completed your mission. Find the exit and escape. I just want to break these boxes. I'm not sure. Yeah, apparently you can get some money for them. Um, I also noticed that uh, we have a certain number of uses with our weapon. We have two balloons left, so let's go ahead and make sure that we make use of them. Oh, I didn't realize there was a trap there. Go ahead and um, yeah, make sure we're, we're... The, the thing is, I think that um, if you only use like some of the, you know, some of the tool in question, then um, that's so silly. <laughs> uh, and then like send it back to base, it'll respawn. Like you'll you'll get it with full uses. I wanna I wanna break these crates. The boomerang is maybe not a great tool, I have to say, because, uh, oh, yeah, because it, it, it stuns yourself. What do we get? Oh, box. I'm not sure. I'm, I think this is, this is like a box you can actually hide with it. But either way. Okay, so we have two floors. That's a trap right there. It's a little bit of spelunky in this game. In a good way. People aren't gonna understand what I mean by that, but that's fine. Okay, I just... Oh no! I was in the box. Okay. <laughs> Our boomerang is dead. Make sure we get make sure we get the gold. Why is the pot on my head like upside down? Oh, I definitely want this. Get some some health. That means uh, I'm pretty sure you you spend as many days in the infirmary or the med bay uh, as you have lost health. So if we put this person in the med bay now, they'll only take two days to recover as opposed to three. I don't know if I really like this guy, but you know, still, it's good to know. It's good to know these things. So we, we got two dudes. And one of them is level three, which is really good for us. And one of them is level two, which is actually also pretty good for us. If we don't like them, we can always put them on research and that will increase our maximum research, right? You've completed your first research. Maintain the minimum staff level to keep it active, right? So this is important because later we're gonna activate research or we're gonna, we're gonna research things that require level two dudes. So you have to keep them on if you want to keep that perk, right? So if we go to staff, uh, new room. Oh, they want me to build a new room. Okay, black market. You can't afford to do this. I need 300 gold. Okay. Let's go to staff. 
Um, I do want to, you know what, these Necro Conley, instead of healing them, why don't we just put them on, uh, well, retire them. Oh, we can't assign them? Is hurt and can't be assigned to work. Okay, so you, they, they thought of that already. You can't, uh, you cannot put hurt dudes on, uh, on, on research. Um, so we got Flute Pucket. And Flute Pucket has, he blinks a lot. He's got dry eyes. I don't know what that means. Um, gets hurt from things that would normally stun you. Oof. So, I, you know, I'm cool putting them on research. Can't assign them. Right, because we have enough people on research. Why don't we should go to research and then unassign certain people. I'm not sure how to actually. Delete room. Build. Uh, unassigned. Okay, here we go. You have to switch tabs here. Okay, I gotcha. Um, I still don't want the klepto, so they can stay on the, on that, but we can um, dismiss Clumsy, yes. And I'm pretty sure that means we get them back, right? We still have Clumsy? I don't, I sure hope cl uh, dismiss did not mean, like, delete them. But it kind of looks like that's what it meant. I guess so. I guess we didn't want to. I a little could could use a bit of a, a polish on the interface a little bit. Gotta say. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and assign flute pucket to research, and that'll mean you know keep our, our research needs you know met for quite a long time. Um, we don't have nearly enough gold uh, available to research something else. Can we? We don't. I don't think we have to like turn that on or toggle that on or anything like that. So let's go ahead and look at another mission. Maybe we could do another story mission. Very low raid. Looks good. Let's do it. Um, shortstop M Murray was uh, pretty good, and they leveled up. So why don't we go ahead and take them? And uh, Clumsy Reloader, that's fine. Hollow Bullets, that's fine. We'll give them a boomerang to make sure that uh, we make the most out of them. So we're starting with an alarm this time. That, guy, that guy's got a shield. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab both these guys. I think a priority is you want to grab dudes. Dudes are good. Dudes are very good. You need them for many reasons. Oh, that guy's got a mirror. The mirror is a problem because um, it can reflect bullets back. I know that's obvious, but you know. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all of the dudes here. Go ahead and grab ourselves a sword. Oh, look at that. I'm pretty sure, is Short Mully? No, Short Mully is not the guy. I was thinking, Short Mully, isn't Short Mully the guy that can heal past his limit? But no. Okay, so that that's it. We're good, survived. Got all the stuff. We got tons of dudes from that. And we leveled up. Short Mully is level three. Has gained max health. He doesn't get another quirk, but that's okay. Can't have it all. Uh, eventually, later, we can actually um, pay a little bit of money to uh, upgrade units. And I believe that it can also take the form of just removing um, some of their bad quirks. Which is, uh, you know, can be, can be really good. Uh, I don't think we lost any health. So let's go ahead and take a short mully again. We're going to go ahead and do another... Um, another story mission. We'll give him a sword. Neutralize. Our only job is to neutralize someone. So that means we, we can kill them. We don't have to worry about um, anything like, you know, we don't have to worry about keeping them alive. Oh, no. So I noticed the alarm stopped after we killed that lad. This is useful information, possibly. I want that turret. Oh, God. Okay. We're taking, we're taking some damage. This is a tough mission, so we, you know, can't expect to get through it unscathed. 
Uh, that's like a bounce pad helmet, so I don't necessarily want that one. And we're going to go ahead and grab this one. We'll go ahead and grab the stack of bo books as well. Books. Open this. Oh, that's not bad. Mirror, mirror shield is good. I like the mirror shield. Um, this is going to be a tricky one because I don't really have a weapon. Uh, what is happening? <laughs> so I think what happened there, that was really funny. Um, I, that could have been the end of me, but here's, here's what happened. I'm pretty sure they stunned me and then, but they were dead. Like their body was falling on the turret helmet and shooting me repeatedly. But it only stuns me because a uh, short molly has that bulletproof quirk. Which is, that's just really good. Go ahead and grab. I love the sound effects. It's just a little, a little uh, weak pap. Uh, I also want to grab that pistol. This is a whoopee cushion. I'm pretty sure that would make some noise. It serves as a distraction. Yeah, I want to want to be careful. You do. I, I think that this this game you do want to treat it um, with stealth. You want to to be stealthy. Hence my immersive sim like insistence. What happened? Oh right, because I panicked. My my dude panics. Uh, yeah, my insistence on like saying that this is like an immersive sim. I, you know, it's, it's a, not a hard and fast rule, or maybe it is, I don't know. Who knows what that means, but anything. What is the genre anyway, you know? Oh. All I really mean is that you can play this game like very uh, looty shooty guns a, a tootin', you know? Or, or you can um, play it with stealth. I have one more balloon left. If there's one more dude, I would like to capture them. There is not another dude. So let's get a, well, let's go ahead and get a weapon, if that's the case. Go ahead and grab this gun. But yeah, I mean, obviously this is a very, I think this is a very casual romp game. And I think that it borrows from very hardcore genres and then kind of mixes them up and turns it very uh casual and i like that i like that this is a game that i can i can take it seriously but it's not a game i have to take too seriously you know i don't need a degree to play this game but at the same time it's it's got chops you know okay so short short murray lost one of their um bad quirks which was hollow bullets uh i don't know if that means they they can take guns yet but either way, um, that, that's good. They're, they're getting up there in, in points. They're two days away from retirement. You've completed your first map. You can now go on a hat heist. Okay, so that's a three floor sewers. Um, let's go on that and I'm gonna probably call it there. Like there's a lot to this game and yeah, they're not at full health, that's fine. There's a lot to this game and there's a lot to show off and obviously I can't do it all in one video um, I wouldn't even mind doing a series on this kind of game because uh, you know, there, there's a lot of you know fun depth in it But um, for for now if you're if you're interested in this kind of game uh, You can uh, obviously you can check out the link in the description, which I generally put in for for let's tries um, And uh, maybe let me know if this is the kind of thing you'd like to see more of Oh, we took some damage there. I'm not even sure how. What is that? Oh, oh, it released gas, sleepy gas. I just need you to look in this briefcase. Oh, that was, that was a really good kill, actually. I didn't expect it to, like, completely kill them dead. Um... So we need to collect the crown. That means we need to neutralize whoever has it. And, um... Nice. We've got to make sure we reserve a balloon for the crown. And then, yeah, basically just, like, pick up the crown. 
Oh, we got a different kind of reflector. This one's fun because it bounces bullets upwards and not just forwards. I guess uh, this is a hat, actually. So it could have a reflector mirror and... Oh, that, that guy's got a um, spiky helmet. Oof. I don't think I actually want to fight him if I can possibly avoid it. Because I don't have any... Oh... Any means of doing so. Let's uh, capture this lad and grab the axe. And then maybe I can kill this lad now. Yeah, nice. Oh, I guess I broke his cool helmet. Oh, that's a darn shame. The axe is not kind to equipment. I got some health back. This is good. Oh, you gotta, gotta watch out. I, I kind of wish there was a rule that um, breaking barrels didn't break your equipment. Because I'm not a huge fan of the fact that... Uh, that's how it works. Um, okay, we, we're okay to capture this lad. We only have two balloons left. Not sure what the rubber duck is for. It might be just a, a, a you know, something for stunning people. It does seem to bounce. It's got a little bit of physics to it. Okay, so this is probably where the, the guy with the crown is going to be. Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying to, he's panicking. That's fine. All right. So I see the, I see the steel right there. Oh, interesting. It's not on a person. It's on some kind of trigger device. What is this? Oh, I love I love this hat. Nice. Okay, but we're gonna have to let's just grab it and go. I don't know what that was gonna do, but I have a funny feeling it was gonna explode. We we lost our turret hat. Probably I should have just like sent it away on a balloon before before I grabbed the crown. Level up. Nice. Has gained maximum health. Oh, they leveled up twice. Oh my god. Strong back carrying heavy things. It doesn't slow you down. Oh, cool. Short Murray is slowly becoming like my MVP unit. We sincerely apologize for losing your package. Please accept this gift as a token of apology. What's this? It's the hat of knowledge. We went through great lengths to procure this for you. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. So when do you think you'll find my package? We're very close. We'll keep you updated. Okay, cool. And how much longer will you need my basement? My parents are planning to come down to visit soon. Sorry, I should get back to work. I'll put this on display downstairs and have a nice day. All right. Necro Conley uh, healed up to full. And um, we could probably put some new things. Oh, you'll need to build a showroom to hold the magic hat. Select the showroom to build it here. Okay, so we got the... We got the... The magic hat. New room. Expansion is available. Expansion. Unlocks the expansion job. Required to unlock certain rooms or expand staff capacity. Kind of wouldn't mind having the... Like... Oh, we have a tons of money. Okay, never mind. We're good. So what does this expand? From here, you can increase the capacity of staff jobs. This is your expansion staff level. Assign more staff to expansion job to increase this. Okay, so... Uh, you can see where this is going, right? You need more staff in order to uh, increase your capacity, and then you can, you know, you need more staff for capacity uh, for your research. You've also unlocked the ability to add new slots to the med bay and brig. Cool. That costs some money. And we also need, uh, that's level five expansion, so that means we're going to need, uh, like, a combined level, I think, of, of five staff members for the expansion. The, the, you know, there's, there's quite a, you know, honestly, all of this, when you break it down, when you break all of this down, all it really means is we want you, you know, we, we want to give you reasons to play more of the game. And we want to, you to, to have things to like shoot for, um, not just like equipment, but people and resources. There's, you know, and this will like give you incentives and, and give you a bit more choices for um, what kind of missions you're looking for. So like, you know, next time I take a mission, 
I might say, well, hey, uh, this one gives me a dude, or this one gives me some hats, or maybe this one gives me more money. What do I want to prioritize? What what part of the base do I want to um, prioritize upgrading? Right? And then uh, that's also what, um, when we come, come back here, what the tech goggles are good for. Uh, because then, like, as things develop, you're going to find yourself ha needing a lot of different things to unlock certain things. So you're, you're going to want something like the tech goggles, or at least I would, because I'm very bad at remembering what I need and what I want. So, um, anyway, this is uh, Mr. Sun's Hatbox. I think this is game. Uh, this game is really cool, and I love that uh, we're taking some of the more, like, hardcore and, like, inaccessible genres and... Uh, condensing them and uh, and also mixing things up like this game feels like a blender of many different genres and i really like it for that it feels wholly original in that way um so anyway if you're interested in playing this game or checking out uh, uh it, the link is in the description and if you enjoyed this video and found it informative in any way maybe uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy